In this tutorial, we're going to be going over how to configure and manage an Excel file. One of the very first things we're going to do is go over how to control the quick access toolbar. You can access it here on the top left hand side of the page. You see where this arrow is pointing down. By default, Excel 2010 gives you the ability to save, undo, and redo different actions on your file. In addition to that, if you click this little down arrow, it'll open up a few more items that you can add. You can add, uh, create a new file, you can open another one, you can email this file directly from a button here, quick print, along with a number of other options. To add items, say you want the ability to quickly sort ascending and descending, you come here, add those two, and as you can see, they've been added to the top left hand side of the page. You can also remove items that have been checked just by clicking on them. For a little bit more customization, click that same button, go down to more commands, and you'll see here on the left hand side of this new window, each of the items that can be added to that quick access toolbar. So say that you wanted to be able to paste, and you wanted to copy very quickly, you can add these right here, and then you can also put the order that you want them to show up in. Hit OK, and if you look back on the toolbar, you've seen, you can see those have been added. Another thing that you can do that can help save time is to customize your recent items uh, uh, section right here on the left hand side of the page. To do that, click on File, and come down to the Recent tab. And right here you'll see all of the different items that I've opened up lately. To control this even further, Excel allows you to pin items that you need to use on a regular basis and want quicker access to. So I can select Rig Ranker, Expenses, and Tracker Administration right here. And as you can see, not only have they been pinned to the top, and they will be every time I open up Excel, they are also added here to the left-hand side. I can access these much quicker, and I can very quickly, by clicking on these little tabs, I can remove them or add them whenever I need. Another thing you can do is on the top of the page, you see how you have home, insert, page layout, formulas. You see all of uh, these items at the top. Excel calls these ribbons, and these can be controlled just like you controlled the quick access toolbar. To customize that, you go back to file, click on options, and then go down to where it says customize ribbon right here. As you can see, there's a number of different ribbons and uh, possible commands that you, can, uh, that you can add right into those tabs. If you want to take away, for example, or you want to add the developer ribbon, you can see that does not exist at the moment, and by default Excel doesn't put that one on there. You add that in, hit OK, and it appears right here. And if for any reason any of your ribbon items ever get removed, that's how you can go back and retrieve them, add them, and customize them.